In today's video, I'm going to break down how you can beat the Cover 4 6 Press in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel focuses on Madden 21 tips and tricks that are designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level. And so if you have never uh, subscribed to my channel before, or you haven't joined our Discord or jumped in the text message membership, I would highly encourage you that if you want to get better at this game, to go ahead and click the subscribe button, but also to join our community Discord. That link is in the description of this video. Uh, you can click that. It's free to join that Discord. And Discord is a great place for you to be able to connect with other Madden players. It's also a great place for you to be able to get lab partners, ask your questions, not only to me, but to our entire YouTube community, or I'm, I'm sorry, our entire Discord community. Um, it's just a great way to interact with my subscribers. So I'm trying to get all of my subscribers to join my Discord. If you follow me, uh, Discord's a free app that you can download on your tablet or on your smartphone. And uh, it's just a great place to talk Madden. Uh, it's a safe uh, environment. Uh, we run a very good Discord, in my opinion. A lot of people have gotten a lot of value out of that. And so I'd highly encourage you, if you haven't joined our Discord yet, to make sure to do that. Uh, the link is in the description. All right, guys. Uh, what I wanted to break down was a defense that I am getting ready to face. Um, been labbing it a little bit. And just so you can see my audibles from the spread wide slot, I have Y cross, I have Z shallow, I have hitch seam, and PA read. And then from spread wide flex, I have mesh, H shallow cross, drive, and Y stick. So we're going to use a couple of these different plays. Now, this is straight out of my air raid offensive ebook. So if you haven't picked up the ebook, this is kind of a sample of what you'll get. Now, I like to run the, the, this uh, formation flipped primarily. But I've uh, been doing some labbing, and I've noticed that this defense actually can give my offense a little bit of trouble. Uh, and that's the cover six press, okay? So the cover six press, this uh, basically is cover four on one side of the field. And it's going to be cover two on the other side of the field. Essentially, that's how it's going to work. And so that's how the coverage works. And so what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about how you can beat this coverage. Um, first and foremost, essentially, you need to know which side is the cover two side versus which side is the cover four side. For example, if I were to run Y cross, you'll see that on this right side right here, he's in a cover two. So I should be able to hit this. But as you can see, I can't. And primary reason why is because of field spacing. So most of the time what people are going to do, at least in my opinion, if you were running this defense, it's actually really, really smart to run your cover two to the short side of the field and to run your cover four to your wide side of the field. But anyway, what that's going to mean for this right here is if I ran the simple route combination of flat and a streak, you'll notice that that streak is going to get right over the top of that and he's going to be able to beat the cover, uh, the cover two side of the, the, the equation. The problem is you're not always going to know, you know what they're going to do and what they're going to call. So really what I would say is the better version of this, uh, I don't know why Valdez Scantling got pressed inside there. He should get outside. It, I think it's because uh, what you want to do is you want to go to stick, I'm sorry. Um, but if I went to stick, and I actually probably, I guess I need to flip that. But uh, essentially all you're doing is putting that outside guy on a fade and having a flat come underneath it. You'll see he gets the outside release, and then you're able to hit that right over the cover two defense. So if, if someone is running that, you know, you could do that. That's obviously option A. But what if they were what if they catch you, right? What if they flip their cover six and they catch you and you're running this? And now they kind of got you, right? I mean, the only thing different is that they're pressing. So obviously if you get a beat press animation, you'll be able to get over the top of that. So that is one option. But I guarantee you that a smart person with this defense knows what I just told you. And they know that cover six is best ran the cover two side to the to the short side. So you have cover two on one side, and you have cover four on the other side. So what are you gonna do? Well, what I like to do is I like to run some type of cover four beater across the formation. So that might look like something like Z shallow. You'll notice that Z shallow, if I flip the flip the play, the post threat's gonna be coming from the left side. Um, we talked about this about how it beats cover four. What you'll notice here is this is cover six. And again, you're going to notice here right here. You see how that deep half zone, and this is why cover six I think is actually very good. He kind of matches Devontae Adams on that post route. Um, and so the way that you kind of get around that, honestly, is just through uh, route running. If you have over 90 deep route running, you have a good route running guy there, um, that's not going to matter. Let me show you this, though. Like, let's show you, like, what if we guess wrong, right? What if we guess wrong? So what if they run cover four here? Watch this deep half. You'll notice, you see, you get this match coverage. I can pass lead that up. And again, you see that that match coverage is going to kind of contain some of the popular things. So a lot of it is, you know, where do they put that cover six? 
And this is why I like to tag, um, essentially out of a four verticals look, I like to keep something like this right here on the field. I like to keep a streak on the field against this. Um, something like this little concept right here. I know it doesn't look like much, but that way if they run cover two, I've got that side of the field open. Now, if they run cover four, what you're going to notice here, or I'm sorry, if they, if they flip this play, what you're going to notice is now you're facing a cover two and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to beat but because of the match coverage and because of the way match coverage is going to work out of this cover six defense watch the inside quarter on the right side see he's just going to kind of lurk underneath and what this is going to leave is it's going to leave this inside pass lead to Devonte adams open over the middle the real key again is that you have good route running if you have good route running um, it's going to allow him to beat that match coverage that is going to ensue uh, on that outside guy. And if people aren't doing anything with their zone drops or anything like that, this can actually be a very challenging coverage to beat. Obviously, you still have your underneath coverage. You're still able to hit everything you would already hit uh, underneath. But what we're trying to do is get a big play here. And so as you can see, if I click on the receiver, I can make that catch. One little adjustment, and it doesn't sound like much, but it actually does a lot in terms of how it helps post routes this year, is just smart route Devontae Adams. Just by smart routing Devontae Adams, and then if I did something uh, as simple like taking Tunyon and putting him on a slant, just something simple like that, if I knew this was coming, I could do something like that. And you'll notice this is going to kind of help a little bit with this match coverage, and you're going to be able to have a little bit better of a window to be able to get that ball to Devontae Adams. Now, again, the one thing I want you to know is you know, this is a little bit of a tricky coverage to beat. Another thing that you can do out of this, um, if you wanted to match up that mess up that match coverage, is you could do something like this. You could go to H shallow cross out of the spread, and you could basically smart route Devontae Adams, and then you're going to take Robert Tunyon and put him on a streak, and take Vada Scantling and put him on a hitch route. And what you'll notice is because they're in match coverage principles out of their cover four on that side, um, Vada Scantling should hold that outside quarter, and then if they, they're they going to basically have to choose between the streak or the post route. And that's another way that you can beat this defense over the top for a one-play score. So these are some tools that you can have in your tool belt from this offense for how to beat this defense. One other play that I want to talk about is my favorite play in Madden, and it's Curl Wheel. Now, this is the most simple play that I ever uh, run, but I think it's one of the most effective plays. This post route to Devontae Adams is, is so good that it's going to torch this coverage. You see here... Um, and of course, the little, I don't know why that happens. Like when the pocket breaks down and they just randomly throw in accurates, I don't understand that. Um, it drives me absolutely crazy. But um, anyways, what I'm getting at here is this is a very simple route combo. It's just two drags and a curl. But what you'll see it as this cover four, it's just a yard gainer. That's all it is. That route's going to beat, beat match coverage very, very well. The other thing that you can you can try, and again, I don't know how well this is going to work for you, but wheel routes I've actually seen do pretty good against match uh, coverage because they're going to take the match and then they basically leave the hole underneath field open for you to you know basically pick apart. So these are some tips and strategies for how to beat this. One other thing you can try is doing a four vertical you know kind of deal out of the mesh. And you'll notice here, you know, this this will match across. But you see that this streak over the middle of the field, because they're in cover six and the, the matching principles of it, this is another little tool that you can use uh, if you are facing something like a match coverage. You'll find that when you face match coverage, um, simple, simple things are going to be what really does it in. Um, for example, doing two streaks of the seams with a corner route, uh, what you'll notice here out of this cover six, is that middle read won't go with him so you can inside pass lead that click on and you're going to get a big play against cover two so those are some ways that you can beat cover six press i think cover six press is fairly solid of a coverage uh, at least from what i'm seeing uh, within how it works but i would also say that running simple things will actually help you destroy it i mean it's it's not you know it's not necessary the match coverage this year and you'll notice right there, I mean, you see right here, like that's simply the, the play drive. I ran the play drive, and I got a one-play touchdown. There's no safety in the, in the vicinity because of the matching principles of this defense, okay? So that's something that you can use uh, to really to really kind of help you uh, against, this, against this defense. Again, just simple streaks up the slot. I think that's going to help you more than anything. Um, you'll see the match coverage here, and uh, here they should take the streak. Yep, and they do, you know, because that's the cover four side.
but the cover two side. So it's just it's all about understanding, you know, kind of where they're where they're at in that and who they're using. Now, if they're using the middle read, oftentimes that's going to leave some vulnerabilities over the top as well from that. But but that's cover six. And honestly, um, honestly, guys, like curl wheel to me is the most consistent, and that's the best play from the air raid in my opinion. The the, the curl wheel play is so versatile. There's so many th so many different things you could do. Um, but something that I would recommend is just something as simple as this right here. You know, you put a couple streaks on the field, and you'll be surprised who's going to come open uh, on this play. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much how you beat cover six. Now, if you have not joined my text message membership, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that. It's completely free to join my text message membership. And basically what my text message membership is going to include and give you is it's going to give you Madden 21 tips and tricks, but it's going to give it to you at a very high level and a very in-depth level. And basically what we're going to do is we send our text message members a video every single week that basically breaks down some type of uh, unique concept strategy or tip that is typically a little bit longer in in uh, detail it's typically you know a couple uh you know probably 45 minutes to an hour long um we break down full schemes full um full guides we've broken down a gun bunch full guide for you in that in that text message membership we've also shown um different things that you can do out of um formations like the gun tree or the single back trio in the minnesota vikings playbook uh, the gun cluster, obviously, in our air raid uh, ebook, and we've shown just several things like that. We've also given a big nickel G, uh, I'm sorry, big nickel over G defense completely away uh, to our text message members as well. So just some things that I think are really, really effective um, that we kind of break down each week. And so uh, if you have not already joined our text message membership, you can do that today. All you got to do is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 three six four four uh it's also in the description and it's also in the top left hand corner of your screen but uh be sure to shoot me a text and join that it is my personal cell phone number so no gimmicks or any of that here uh just straight uh straightforward honesty and uh again uh real quick before we take off uh we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time so if you want to connect with me there that'd be great we play um Madden with our members uh, our, every single night. And if you want to play Madden, all you got to do is just shoot me a text. We can uh, set up a game. And then the uh, last thing I had for you is uh, we'll be – our next video will go live – or I'm sorry, we'll be live at 10. And then our next video, uh, YouTube tip video, is going to go live tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We upload videos every day on our channel at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock. And they're all – Kind of around this idea of how do we get better at Madden 21. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. I hope it was helpful and we will see you guys in our next video.